Another few days have passed, but Bruno Fernandes isn't a Manchester United player just yet. But there have been a ton of updates from Portugal and from the UK press as well. So what I'm going to do in this video, what I always do, is bring you bang up to date by running through all of those. And I'm going to explain as well in a bit more detail why Sporting Lisbon's rising debt is playing such a major role in this set of negotiations between United and Sporting for Bruno Fernandes. Make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already to United People's TV. But let's talk about all the latest on Bruno to United. Now, Bruno Fernandes is likely to play again for Sporting Lisbon tonight against Braga in the cup game out in Portugal. But what are the reports and the newspapers saying out in Portugal? Record are saying that the specific breakdown of the price, how much is up front, the bonuses, when they'll be paid, how much they are, those are still not finalised. But Ebola are saying that United are willing to compromise by increasing their offer by 5 million euros to find that middle ground between what United want to pay and what Sporting want to pay to make this deal go through. And all the newspapers are saying that Bruno is desperate for a move to United in January and he's actively pushing for it. And his agent is as well. So all the news is positive from the Portuguese perspective. But what about the UK press? Duncan Castles has been leading, as I said, with information on the Bruno deal. And he says that Sporting's president is willing to accept an offer of 60 million euros up front. The latest from United is 50 million. And that Bruno is pushing for that deal to go through, as I said. And the interesting thing that Duncan reports there is that United are standing firm on that 50 million euros because that is what Bruno's agent has told United that Sporting are willing to sell for. That is the reason, maybe, why there's been so much toing and froing between United and Sporting over the deal. United hearing one thing, but Sporting saying another. And if you look at the Manchester Evening News, they are reporting that in the last week or so, Sporting have out of nowhere increased the price of Bruno Fernandes. And then you saw random reports out in Portugal as well that Man City were being linked with the move for Bruno. Again, out of nowhere. A classic move by a club when they want to increase, artificially increase the price of a player. It seems like Sporting are pulling out all the stops to make this as difficult as possible in the same way that United are making it as difficult as possible by not giving Sporting what they want. And that's created an impasse, but the breakthrough in negotiations is that United are willing to increase our offer. To placate Sporting Lisbon, to give them a little bit more of what they want, might be more than what we wanted to pay, but we need the player. And don't get it twisted, Sporting need the money and they need it in January. And I'm a little surprised that this hasn't really been massively reported by the British press. It has been out in Portugal for a long time, but Sporting Lisbon have got big debt problems. If you go back to November 2019, you look at what Ojoga reported, said that Sporting needed to raise 65 million euros by the end of January to pay debtors to avoid heavy fines being placed on them. And their debts have been mounting for a long time. There was a big restructure of the debt last year that they did with the banks. Now, what this did was reduce the debt, but it also means that the bank is now owed a percentage of any sales that Sporting Lisbon make, including Bruno Fernandes, which is another reason why they need to increase the amount they're going to get for Bruno, because they're not going to get 100% of that. And it's this whole debt situation has complicated the situation massively for United. And then if you look, other companies are also chasing money that they are owed by Sporting Lisbon. So the fact that they are on the verge of signing Andra Spora for 7 million euros at the moment goes to show that Sporting have got other things in place. That money has to come in before that 7 million euros goes out. And that money is going to come from the Bruno Fernandes sale. So at the same time as United are desperate to sign Bruno Fernandes in January, we need a midfielder, we need a creative midfielder like Bruno to come and help what is a massively uncreative midfield. Sporting are desperate for the money to help with their debt situation at the club, which was restructured massively last year with a new deal with the banks, but they need an influx of cash in January. And both of those reasons are why this deal will go through. But at the same time, both of those reasons is why United and Sporting are pushing for the best deal for themselves, which I suppose is the same as any club would do. But just with the United, it seems to be more complicated. And this situation itself is certainly complicated by the debt situation.
The big breakthrough here with Bruno Fernandes is that United and Sporting are both willing to compromise. Sporting willing to come down a little bit, United willing to go up a little bit to find that middle ground to get the deal done. Last week, Sky Sports News out in Portugal when Sporting played Benfica on Friday night were reporting that a deal had already been agreed. They jumped the gun. But the compromise is close. That's what we need to find. And then we can see Bruno holding up a United shirt. I genuinely believe at this stage that it will go through. And if it doesn't, then as I said on Twitter, United may as well liquidate in terms of trying to sign players because this has been dragging for a long time. It's a complicated deal. It's not like Liverpool signing Minamino from Leipzig or wherever they signed him from Salzburg, actually, I think it was. Well, that was a release clause and that was simple. This is complicated, but Bruno has been pushing actively for the deal to go through. And that's a big, big reason why I think it's going to go through. Both clubs willing to make the compromise. Let's see what happens when Bruno plays tonight against Braga in the Portuguese Cup semi-final. Will we get any confirmation after that? There's only 10 days left in the window. Things have to move fast and we need a striker as well. So United have got to start getting it done. But it, the compromise is coming. That's the breakthrough that we've all been waiting for. And hopefully soon we can get some sort of confirmation that the deal is in place. We have to remain patient, but this is all the latest updates from Portugal, from the UK, and a little bit more background on the debt that Sporting Lisbon has that has complicated this deal massively. If this has helped you and you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe down below to United People's TV and I'll bring you any more updates on Bruno as and when they happen.